Hey guys, Wes from Insert Frame here, and today I'm going to show you how to add a masonry layout to the Framus CMS. Masonry layouts are great for showing off a bunch of images on a grid without changing their aspect ratios. So if you've ever used Pinterest, you've seen a masonry layout in effect. Building masonry layouts isn't normally possible in Framer until now. So with Superfields, it's super easy, and I'll show you how you can add a masonry layout to your site. So here we are in a new page and I've just got my collection list to the left of my page. You just want to make sure your collection list is off the canvas and you'll be fine. So to start, I'm going to head over to the Superfields dashboard, grab this Superfields component and then head back. And I'm just going to paste it in here and then set the width to fill. Cool. So now I'm just going to connect it and connect to collection list. And then in the properties panel, we want to head over to layout. So currently it's set to masonry by default. This may change in the future. So if it's on something else, you just want to switch it over to masonry. And this will bring up some controls for changing the number of columns, width of items and the gap between the items and some padding as well. So if we were to change any of these, this is what it would look like. I can change the item width to fit, fill, we can change the horizontal gap and the vertical gap. So one limitation of CMS collection lists in Framer is that all the images have the same aspect ratio, even if the original images from the CMS have different sizes. So to help you create amazing galleries of images with different aspect ratios, you can use the aspect ratios image component just here from the Superfields dashboard. So to use it, I'm just going to go in, open my layers so I can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to paste it in for some reason. It's not going where I want it to go. Set it to fill and then set the image variable to the image from my CMS. I can then go ahead and delete the first one and then I'll set the radius to eight. So it's the same as it was before. And now what you should notice is that the images on each CMS item dynamically resize to fit their original size. So now that we've got that set up, I think that this might look best on this breakpoint with five columns. Let's take a look. There we have it. So that's how you add masonry layouts to your Framer site. I hope this helped and that you have a great day.